We'll split up our men's track and field athletes with our multi-sport athlete of the night. Not only track and field, really not even, not even just basketball, but multiple sports we'll mention in just a moment. So let's give a big round of applause to Miss Pat ward son <laughs> Out of the many pioneers that Versace has produced in women's athletics, Pat ranks among the best for her love of competition and her amazing talent that allowed her to not only participate, but also excel in track and field, cross country, basketball, volleyball, and tennis. So I'm still staying as one of the MSU's most versatile athletes of all time. Pat Wardson arrived at Murray State in the fall of 1967 after participating on the Kentucky State Track and Field Championship team at Owensboro Senior High School. She competed in a time before women's athletics became organized by Murray State and the Ohio Valley Conference in the late 1970s. In track and field, Ward Syme held the records for the racers in the 880-yard and mile runs, as well as the javelin. She was part of the MSU team that finished ninth in a field of 52 schools at the 1970 National Intercollegiate Track and Field Championship. Ward Syme had spent her professional career involved in athletics and education. After graduating from MSU in 1971 with a degree in health, physical education, and recreation, she spent 35 years teaching at Gibson Southern High School in Fort Branch, Indiana. She coached track and field there as well as basketball and volleyball. She has served in many capacities in shaping prep athletes in Indiana, including chairperson for the Indiana Coaches of Girls Sports Athletic Association. Once again, a big round of applause for Ms. Pat ward Sign. <laughs> and keep that applause going because her inductor tonight is her coach at Murray State, Ms. Margaret Simmons. Made it. Whew. Hold on, gotta get the glasses on. Oh, five minutes are going. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> <I'm sorry. clears throat> uh, first of all, I would like to con congratulate all of the members of the class of 2019 for being inducted into the Murray State Athletics Hall of Fame. <clears throat> An Ironman swims 2.4 miles, they bike 112 miles, and they finish the event by running a marathon, which is 26.2 miles. Pat Ward Seib ran cross country, participated on the track and field team, played volleyball, basketball, and also found time to hit the tennis courts. She is truly an Iron Man. She truly had an Iron Man career. She was a high school state champion while attending Owensboro Senior High School in Owensboro, Kentucky. She was a member of Murray State University's first track women's track team. There were no scholarships for women at Murray State in athletics in 1967. Pat participated because she loved sports and competition. Pat competed in a variety of track and field events. She ran distance, middle distance, hurdles, sprinted, threw the javelin, discus, and yes, the basketball, and she high jumped. She was unaware of the word specialization. All of the information is on an index card. And I have one of these on every one of the athletes who I coached. They had to become index cards because there wasn't room for them in the file cabinet. Uh, two, impe two impressive reports on this card are her personal best in the high jump of 410 and her javelin throw as a novice of 130 feet 6 inches, which in case you don't know it, that's pretty good for the person that started. She was self-taught when it came to throwing the javelin. There were times when we looked for her pat during a meet, and she would be at the javelin throw, picking other competitors and coaches' minds on how to master this event. During her time as a graduate student at Murray State, she also served as coach for the Murray State University women's track team. 
She has been a successful physical education teacher and coach at Gibson Southern High School in Hopstadt, Indiana, and she was also very active in the promotion of girls' athletics in the state of Indiana. She is a serious, no fooling around individual, a woman of few words, but a contributor of many points. Pat is worthy of the honor of being inducted into the Murray State University Athletics Hall of Fame. Turn the page. Well, stuck together. Okay, when the Ironman participants come close to the finish, finish line, the announcer encourages the spectators to clap and cheer loudly. Proclaims your name and that you are an Iron Man. It is my privilege to proclaim Pat Ward Saib, you are a Hall of Famer. Nobody had a basketball go except us. <laughs> and they weren't going to let me, my brothers weren't going to let me play because I was a girl. So uh, it, I give all the responsibility to them and told them, you know, my mom yelled out the back door, you're going to have to let them play, let them play or nobody's going to play. <laughs> so they let me play. And of course, whenever I got the basketball, I had to shoot it because you don't get the basketball too often from the boys. So that's how I had my quick shot and learned it when I was playing basketball here at Murray. Uh, I am a pioneer. Like you said, uh, Margaret took all my words <laughs> and my notes from me, so it's hard to uh, go on. but. Uh, I was a pioneer because back in 67, that's, if you look back, it's over, uh, oh well, 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, and she said there wasn't any scholarships, so I got that. All right, we're going to the tennis team. Where's that tennis coach? There you go. <laughs> Come. I played this game, I was walking, I was walking down by the tennis court, and Nita Graham said, we need another tennis player. Will you play tennis? I said, okay, I'll go get my racket, the wooden racket, you know. And so I played tennis a couple times because they were without a player. So I played some tennis, and then uh, played some basketball under Dewdrop Rowlett. That's her name, Dewdrop Rowlett. And, uh, the things I remember about the drop rally is she could take a piece of gum and pop that gum about an hour <laughs> as we're riding in these station wagons. <laughs> you guys probably don't even know anything. Some of us know about the station wagons. <laughs> it was an iron passenger station wagon, and the people in the back had to ride backwards, <laughs> pull that seat up. So if you weren't a good player, you said, that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then uh, volleyball, uh, Debbie was a teammate. And uh, we uh, went down to Memphis and we had white shorts, white shirt, and we had those blue pennies that you had to tie around and had a number on so they know what your numbers were. So uh, we went 
quite often, and again in a station wagon. And uh, we, we uh, played, well, go back to basketball. I forgot to tell you about that. We, we would go on a Saturday morning over to uh, Missouri, and we'd play six-man basketball. Three on one side of the court, three on the other side. And then, sometimes you play with a rover. That was me. I got the rover, played offense and defense, so I got to go back and forth across that center line when we played basketball. We play Missouri in the morning, and then we go down to uh, UT Martin to play down there. Got to play against Badhead Summit. That was pretty good. Um, so we played five man down in Tennessee. So uh, we got a variety of uh, sports in when we play. Uh, cross country, Mrs. Sim Coach Simmons would take us out about five miles, drop us off, we didn't <laughs> see her the rest of the day. <laughs> So um, we had to run all the way back in there. So, and I heard somebody tell me sometimes some of the runners would try to catch some people go, driving in and they'd pop in the car and go on in that way too. So. And then uh, one time I remember, at a, of course across the cross country meet was this, where this building sits. It, you know, you go downhill around, back up some trees. And, uh, it's where this building was, or is, and um, one time we had we had this cross country meet, and it was sleeting. You guys talk about the weather. It was sleeting. Back then we didn't have any sweats or anything. We had those short shorts and those real thin shirts. <laughs> we ran that cross country meet, and. Uh, it was pretty cold. The front was all ice, you know, and the back was, you were still dry in the back, so. <laughs> That's the way the weather was. Um, uh, you told us about the field events. I was honored to be on the, in high school on the uh, state championship team from Owensboro. It took us a couple years to beat one of the other schools, Louisville Mail, any of you from Louisville. So we finally beat in my senior year, and then uh, she told you about the event. <laughs> so we'll go on to be uh, all these different activities that I've done. I was able to be the coach. Uh, that well, I started at Hobstock Middle School, and I was uh, we started volleyball and track, and of course. The track is cinders, okay? It's it's not the normal tracks you have around here. The track down here was the soccer field now, isn't it? It was a cinder track, and you wore one-inch spikes. So you could dig into that cinder, and you sure didn't want to fall on that track. So uh, the tracks were cinder. I had, at Hobstop, they were cinder. We had to mark them off. And then uh, we played volleyball. Volleyball, when we started in Indiana, it was uh, eight minutes. You played a game. You know, whoever's had two-point lead, you'd win. But if you were ahead by two points, you would bump that ball as high as you could while the time ran out. You just kept on let the time run out and bump, bump three bumps over instead of spiking it. So, you know, volleyball came a long way since the beginning of uh, coaching. And then, like uh, Coach Simmons said, in 73, came back, helped Mrs. Rowlett, Coach Rowlett out a little bit in basketball, and then uh, I helped Linda, somebody, well, somebody else, you know, we were coaching the track team, and again, we got to drive on station wagons, so that was pretty good. And then, um, 
In uh, 74, we added basketball. I got to be the basketball coach. You know, started basketball there at Gibson Southern at a new school. And uh, this one time, this person, uh, of course, when we started girls' sports, you know, you didn't have that many spectators. So whatever you said in the gym during the game, everybody else heard it. <laughs> so my player got the rebound. Okay, I said, back up, back up. Want her to shoot the ball back up in the basket? Nope. She dribbled it and backed up. <laughs> so they just do what you tell them to do. <laughs> and uh, we, um, uh, the, the uniforms we had, we had them for all three sports, the same uniform for all three sports. So that was that was pretty interesting, you know. If you had the same player, you'd give her the same uniform for the next sport. So, um, that, that's about it I've got. I, I don't have anything else, so just the memories you have, pass them on. Let other people know, in which we've done tonight, of letting other people know what's been going on. We've got the track coaches here. Have you ever used one of these watches? <laughs> That's a stopwatch. <laughs> That's what we used to use. So uh, I appreciate uh, Murray State and uh, Hall of Fame people. Thank you. Thank you.